Ponderati Abstract The Honderakuti, Japanese, Honderakuti, Honderakuti, is a series of cab of the microvans and K trucks produced by the Japanese automaker Honda from 1977 to 2021, designed for the Japanese domestic market. JDM, Acti, is short for activity. The Acti's primary competitors are the Subaru Sambar, Suzuki Carry, Every, Daihatsu Hijet, Mazda Scrum, Nissan NT100, MV100 Clipper and the Mitsubishi Mini Cab. History The Acti range is designed to be economical, agile work vehicles, and generally lack luxury options. Although air conditioning and power steering are available along with various trim, decoration, and customization options, the first generation was produced from 1977 to 1988. Model series TAR, TB, TC, VD, VH. The second generation's years were 1988 to 1999. Model series HA1. HA2, HH1, HH2 with the E05A engine, HA3, HA4, HA5, HH3, HH4 with the EN07A engine. The street continued in production until 2011, and the third generation's years were 1999 to 2009. Model series HA6, HA7. HH5, HH6 with the 07Z engine. With the van still in production, the fourth generation was introduced as a truck only at the 41st Tokyo Motor Show in 2009 on December 17, showing the HA8 series and continuing to use the E07Z engine. Since the merger of the Subaru Sambar and Daihatsu Hijet, the Acti truck has become the only remaining K truck not to have a front engine. Rear wheel drive layout. First generation. The first Acti trucks were introduced July 27, 1977, and replaced several K Tours Honda had previously offered, such as the Honda TN360, most recently sold as the TN7 and the Honda T360. On 1 September 1975, the Japanese government revised the rules on road trucking vehicle law that regulated their dimensions and engine size of vehicles in this class. As a result, the first Act-T trucks and vans were available with a midship-mounted 545cc two-cylinder SOHC water-cooled engine known as the A engine, which produces 28 PS, 20.6 kilowatts, 27.6 horsepower, at 5,500 revolutions per minute and 4.2 kilograms m, 41 nm, 30 pound-feet, of torque at 4,000 rp. Monsieur this was about 50% larger than the engine used in the preceding TN7 export models with less emissions equipment, claim 30.6 horsepower, 22.8 kilowatts, 31.0 PS. At the same engine speed, the van was introduced November 1979. Although a truck-based panel van with a boxy rear was available from the beginning, TB, to save money, the van uses the same tail lights as the truck and also has side doors with center-mounted handles, meaning that the same pressing can be used for either side of the car. The Acti was exported to a number of markets, including Great Britain, where it is considered to have created an entire new category. The Suzuki Carry Bedford Rascal was GM's response to the Acti in the British market. An upper trim level of the Acti van intended mainly for passenger usage went on sale the 1st of February 1981 and was called the Honda Street. In Japanese, 
It was produced for two generations of the Acti van. Available with a standard or an all-new high-roof design. The high-roof was also made available for the Acti van. SDX only. The name was discontinued in 2001 after the Honda Vamos name had been reintroduced as a replacement. Trim level for the street. On a shared platform of the Acti van. In March 1983 the four-wheel drive Acti street was added. This model receives 12-inch wheels for increased ground clearance and has an engine with an improved cylinder head, increasing power to 29 PS, 21.3 kilowatts, 28.6 horsepower, at 5,300 revolutions per minute and torque to 4.5 kilograms m, 44 nm, 33 pound-feet. At 3,500 rp monsieur this was also the first Acti street to receive a 5-speed manual gearbox. Initially only available on the 4WD models. A larger, 35L, 9.2 US gal, was also part of the 4WD's equipment. In June 1982 the series received a facelift, with wraparound turn signals. At this time the Honda Matic version was added, as was the big cab version, with a passenger compartment stretched by 100 mm. 4 in, while the Acti has round headlamps, the street received square units after the facelift. Starting with model year 1985, the Acti street was exclusive to a chain of Japanese Honda dealerships established for small and commercial vehicles. Called Honda Primo, the Acti was also sold in a few export markets, such as the United Kingdom and Australia. Subsequent models were marketed almost entirely in the Japanese domestic market only. As a bit of an oddity, the Acti was sold during 1982 in Australia, but was made unavailable inside of Sydney due to concerns by Honda that the vehicle was underpowered for the hilly terrain. Second generation The second generation Acti was launched in March 1988 with the introduction of the Honda Rio 5 engine, with an additional cylinder added, making it a 547cc three-cylinder with SOHC. The engine is rated 34 PS, 25 kilowatts. At 5,500 revolutions per minute and 4.5 kilograms m. 44 nm, 33 pound feet. Of torque at 5,000 rp monsieur. The first models were the Acti truck and van. With the commercial grade Acti van appearing a month later, the 4WD models, half or, were no longer available with an automatic transmission. There was also an Acti Attack version of the truck. Intended for farmers in particular this model has a differential lock in the rear and features ultra-low forward and reverse gears. Ul, your, the other models of STD, SDX, SDX2 and Town had slight variations with the Town and SDX2 adding a color-coded white bumper and tachometer. The town features tweed seats with a brown interior, as opposed to vinyl-like seats on STD models. The only other notable options were a light for rear work area and radio. The original Actis have distinct round headlights while the street has large rectangular headlamps. The truck and van originally shared the same tail lights. After the March 1990 facelift the Acti received the same headlights as the street. While all models grew longer by 10 cm, 3.9 in, as the result of altered K-car regulations. At this time the street also received the tail lights from the contemporary Honda Today, which were also used for the third generation Acti van. The 1990 changeover also meant that the 547cc engine was replaced with the larger 656cc Honda E07A engine, with fuel injection added in 1996.
The carburetted version of this engine produced 38 PS. 28 kilowatts at 5,300 revolutions per minute and 5.5 kilograms m. 54 nm, 40 pound feet of torque at 4,500 rp. Monsieur, the street could reach a top speed of 115 kilometers per hour, 71 miles per hour, while the four-wheel drive version only could attain 105 kilometers per hour. 65 miles per hour. In October 1993, the Honda Street's front design was changed yet again, receiving larger, more square headlamp units, a PGM-5 version in Fox and She equipment levels was also introduced to the street of this time. This version produces 44 PS, 32 kilowatts, 43 horsepower. The front-end changes were applied to the Acti as well. Beginning in January 1994, the Acti and the Street were further modified in January 1996 when the turn signals were changed from amber to clear. At this time, the fuel-injected Acti SDX High was also introduced only with two-wheel drive and a five-speed manual with the same engine as the Street Chi. The Fox was dropped replaced by the carburetted Street V. Production of the Acti continued until the arrival of the third generation in 1999. Although the Honda Street continued to be built until 2001 as it was only partially replaced by the pricier Honda Vamos. Third generation The third generation Acti truck was introduced on 27 May 1999. The van went on sale one month later. On September 30, 1996, the Japanese government amended the Enforcement Regulations Vehicle Law, Ministerial Ordinance No. 53, which addressed safety requirements for front passengers, but did not allow for larger overall dimensions. Honda pushed the driving position back while keeping the engine in its traditional location. Underneath the vehicle, the new design retained the mid-engined rear-wheel drive layout although it was now of a semi-bonneted design. Meeting the increased safety requirements was a major focus during development. The base price of the pickup model is 777,000 yen, approximately $7,920 USD with the van starting at 1,060,500 yen, approximately $10,810 USD. As of December 2008, four-wheel drive is available as an option on all vans, and all but one model of pickup truck, making the Act E one of a handful of mid-engine AWD vehicles that are not designed as supercars. The 656cc engine is of a LEV design, with low emissions and high gas mileage. Fuel economy was further increased by the use of electric power steering. Max power in 1999 was 46 PS, 34 kilowatts, 45 horsepower. At 5,000 RP Monsieur the engine was since upgraded to the current 660cc 12 valve in line 3E07Z. Gasoline engine making 53 PS, 39 kilowatts, 52 horsepower, at 7,000 revolutions per minute and 6.2 kilograms m. 61 nm, 45 pound feet of torque at 4,000 revolutions per minute. 4 WD models. Currently, the maximum payload is 200 kilograms, 440 pounds. The truck was available as a basic standard model, SDX, Super Deluxe, and more comfortable town versions. There was also the Acti Attack, a spartanly equipped four-wheel drive version with a differential lock particularly intended for farmers. The van was available as a two-seater Pro-B, with division, or as the somewhat more comfortable Pro-A. There were also four-seater SDX and town versions.
the Acti van, and the related Vamos Hobbio, kept using the taillights of the 1988 facelift version of the Honda today. The street name was discontinued in favor of the Honda Vamos, based on the Acti van. In December 2009 the Acti truck was replaced by the new fourth-generation model. But the bonneted Acti van continued to be produced with the third-generation bodywork. On 12 July 2018, the Acti van was discontinued and it was replaced by the N-van fourth-generation truck. On 17 December 2009, the fourth-generation Acti truck was introduced. As for the Daihatsu Hijet and Suzuki carry competitors, this model has become delinked from the van as a result of differing safety requirements for commercial vehicles and passenger-type vans. It continues to use the predecessor and van Z07Z engine, although now with 45 PS, 33 kilowatts, 44 horsepower, the chassis codes are HA8, 2WD, or HA9, 4WD. The wheelbase was shortened dramatically, returning to the 1.9 meters, 6.2 feet, as used on the second generation at T, in order to increase cabin space and to shrink the turning circle. In June 2012 the Acti underwent some light modifications so as to meet new upcoming standards on lighting. On November 2018 Honda has renewed its spirit color style, a special purpose vehicle, commemorating the 55th anniversary of T360, the origin of Honda's four-wheeled vehicle, based on the town type. In the light commercial vehicle, ACTY truck released on Friday, November 9. Discontinuation The Acti will be discontinued in 2021 due to the new emission regulations. Mandatory of crash mitigation brakes that must be installed sequentially, thus increasing development costs in popular culture. In the Shuichi Shigeno manga and anime Initial D, as well as the arcade stage games, the Honda Acti is often seen in the background. YouTube series The Midnight Garage commonly uses a modified Honda Acti as a parts hauler for their other project cars.